What's up, you guys? My name is Marion with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, come on, baby. And you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a collective reading, caps inside, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I got a channel message in, so I'm going to share it. Um, I heard an Aquarius is about to get a huge fire lit under their ass soon. About to travel and find out the real truth. And um, not going to stop until they get it. Very, 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 very highly intuitive Aquarius. Um, so you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. An Aquarius on a mission. Now you could be the Aquarius or you could be the person that's um, about to travel. And um, the Aquarius is traveling too. Um, that's going to be on a mission to find out the truth. I heard they're very, very, very highly intuitive, this Aquarius is. Um, I heard they're not going to stop until they find out the truth. And they will find out the truth through many series of chain of events. Okay, I heard they will find out the truth. So they will find out the truth through many series of chain of events, basically. So this Aquarius is um, got a fire under their ass, basically, or they're about to get a fire under their ass. Um, about person, people, place, family, situation, or organization, you have to plug it in your life however it fits. Um, you could be the Aquarius that has a huge fire lit under your ass. Or the person that you're, um, or you could be the person the Aquarius is traveling to. Lots of traveling energy here. It could be by plane. It could be by train. It could be by boat. It could be by vehicle. Um, but traveling to someone or some people or a site or a location or what have you to find out the truth. Um, I heard they will find it out through many series of chain events. Um, but they, I heard they're not going to stop until they find it. And they're not going to be, they're not going to stop until they find out the real truth. And they're very highly intuitive. So it's, um, it wouldn't be smart to get over on this person, basically, whoever this is for. Um, you could be the Aquarius. I feel maybe you're the Aquarius that watches my readings and you're about to do this. Or you could be the person or people they're about to travel to to find out the truth. I heard um, they won't stop until they find it. And I heard they're going to find out the truth. Um They've got a huge fire lit under their ass, buddy. There's a huge motivator, I guess, or motivators to find out the truth um, here with this Aquarius is um, what I'm feeling here. Um, huge motivation energy here. Um, so, and they're highly intuitive. I feel they might be a position of high authority. I did not hear they were, but I feel for some of these Aquariuses, they could be a position of high authority. Um, they're... For some, maybe not, but they are about to find out the truth on something. Let's try to find out what in the world they're going to find the truth out on, but my goodness. Um, rebirth, for some of you guys, you could know this Aquarius. Um, reconcile with them. Uh, for some, you might not want to um, because they've got a huge fire lit under their ass. For some, you could have positive relationships with them. For some, negative relationships. For some, you could have never met them before but this is like reconciliation energy or rebirthing a situation of the past um, to find out the real truth i heard to find out the real truth so it's either reconciliation energy maybe you know this person from the past or rebirthing a situation um to find out the real truth however that resonates in um, this aquarius's life or the I feel it's several people they're about to connect with. Um, I do. For some, I feel it could be a community. And I didn't hear that, but it could be possibly. Um, yikes. Woo. Okay, I'm going to pull energy. I'm going to pull the energy deck. This Aquarius is about to be on a huge mission. Very, 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 very intelligent Aquarius. Many people are about to figure this out very soon. Oh, my God. Okay, I heard this Aquarius is about to be on a huge mission. Very, very, very intelligent Aquarius. 
And um, many people are about to figure this out soon. So they're about to figure out when they um, either reconcile with the Aquarius or um, reveal some information. Maybe some people lie, try to attempt to lie to the Aquarius possibly is what I'm feeling because I heard not going to be able to get over on the Aquarius. So I feel for, um, if I feel for some of these situations, somebody's going to try to lie to the Aquarius, but the Aquarius is highly intuitive. So you're not going to be able to get over on the Aquarius. Um, so um, if you were the one that's about to embark in this situation and you're in this situation over here, it wouldn't be smart to lie to, lie to this Aquarius. Um, whoever this person is, it could be a masculine or femme Aquarius. They could have Aquarius and they're sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter. But they are on a mission, buddy. They are on a mission. They are on a mission. And they're very, I heard, highly in intellectual. They're very smart. They're very intuitive. Um, that's my kind of person. I'm just saying. They're very smart. They're very intuitive. Um, they're, they are, um, they're not easily getting over on, um, they're not one to be smart to lie to, basically. They're not one that be smart to lie to, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I feel somebody in this situation is going to try to lie to them. They most certainly are, and it's not going to go well for them. Several people. But some people are going to get a huge wake-up call, and they're not going to lie. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Okay, so, whoo, okay. Okay, so it's several people in this situation this Aquarius is about to come connect with. I feel in some of these situations, it could be a community, possibly. But you plug it in, how it resonates. But I heard some people are going to try to lie. They're going to try to cover up. They're going to try to cover their ass or think they're going to cover their ass and lie. But I heard it's not going to be smart. It's going to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, I heard it's going to backfire on them in a huge way. So the people that are going to, hopefully you can get a heads up on this because it sounds like it hasn't happened yet because they're about to travel in. Um, so it hasn't happened yet. So if you're in this group and you, pl you plan on lying to this Aquarius about this very serious situation, um, whatever the crap it is and however it plugs in your life, it would not be smart because I heard it's going to backfire if you lie. So it hasn't happened yet. So if you plan on lying about this very serious situation to this Aquarius. It wouldn't be smart to do so. Of course, everybody has free will and you can still plan, use your free will to lie to this person. But I feel if you use your free will to lie to this person, well, I don't feel, I know, because I heard from the spiritual realm, it will backfire on you. So just know it will backfire on you if you lie to this person, whoever this person is. But it's somebody that's about to travel to you. It sounds like they're going to question you about a very serious situation. It sounds like you might have been questioned in the past, possibly, for some of you. Or it's just a very serious situation that's being re-questioned in some shape, form, or fashion. Is what I'm feeling because we have the rebirth card. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. We have envy on the bottom of the deck. There's about to be a lot of jealousy in this situation with a particular feminine energy because they know good things are coming to her. But this Aquarius knows this and you should know this. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. We are getting so deep in here. Okay. I heard there's about to be a lot of jealousy and envy um, for a particular feminine energy. Um, Whoever this feminine energy is in your life, I feel in this group, there's going to be jealousy and envy. Because um, it sounds like this Aquarius is about to question about a particular fem energy that these people know um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I heard some are going to lie, but if you are in this group and you plan on free willingly lie, just know it's going to backfire on you if that resonates. Of course, you have free will and you can lie if you want, but hopefully this reading helps you make better decisions. But... I heard basically um, there's going to be a lot of jealousy and envy. These people are going to be jealousy, jealous and envious of a femme energy that they know or did know in the past, however that resonates, um, because it sounds like this Aquarius is about to question on a situation of this femme energy of the past or on the femme energy. However that plugs in or some kind of situation of femme energy participated in, However, that resonates, but I heard these people know good things are coming for the feminine energy, and that's what's going to create the embassy, 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 is that, that's not a word, 
Embassy, 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 did it again. Embassy, it kind of sounds like embassy. Envy, jealousy, etc., etc., um, because they know good things are coming to the feminine energy. Um, both these people are not the feminine energy. So, I mean, that's probably why they want to lie on her. I think well, for some, they want to lie on her. But this person, this is not a smart person to lie to. It's really, really not. So if you fit into this category and you have envy and jealousy and hatred in your heart towards this femme energy, whoever she is and how she plugs in your life, it would not be smart, you guys. It just would not be smart because this person is not playing around. <laughs> definitely not playing around. Okay, I heard definitely not playing around. So envy, jealousy with these people, but um, I heard if they do lie, it's going to backfire. So... Hopefully, if you're in this group, you get a heads up and you don't lie. Um, but, of course, everybody has free will. Wow, man. Indecision. I think, um, I think this is for you guys down here, if this resonates. Let's see if we hear anything. Some are going to be completely shocked, but this Aquarius has made their mind up. Know this. Oh my God. Okay, I heard some are going to be completely shocked, but this Aquarius has made their mind up. Know this. So I think the indecision is for this group down here. So, uh, I think this group is going to be, they're going to be, they're, gym, they're Envious, they're jealous of this femme energy because I heard they know good things are coming to this femme energy. So um, maybe they're not putting time and effort in their own life to make good things happen for them is what I'm presuming. Or they just want what somebody else has. Um, but you can't take what somebody else has. You have to go out and do it yourself. Um, how that resonates. But I think the indecision down here is these people. Um, they're not going to know whether to tell the truth or not is what I'm feeling. But I heard the Aquarius has already made their mind up and they're about to do it. So their indecision reversed. They are in a very fixed energy, very fixed energy, um, very fixed. They have made their mind up. They're about to do it. No more indecision. They are about to come and they are about to question, about to do whatever they're going to do. Um, very fixed energy here with this Aquarius. Um Whoever this Aquarius is and however it plugs in your life, it can be a masculine or feminine Aquarius. I do feel for some of these Aquariuses, they are positions of high authority or they have some kind of authority in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's in a family unit, whether it's in a work situation, whether it's in a um, governmental entity, agency, energy situation, or what have you to do this. Um, they are very fixed and they're about to do it. Indecision reversed. And I'm serious as a heart attack about this. So if you fall into this category, just know they are coming in a very fixed energy. Um, they're, Aquariuses are fixed signs. Um, to let everybody know that doesn't know, Aquariuses are fixed signs. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo are fixed signs. So this Aquarius um, is in a fixed energy right now. And they are a fixed sign. So they're very good at being a fixed sign. Of course, everybody... Just because you are a fixed sign doesn't mean you hone in on fixed energy. It's how you grow and manifest yourself is what I'm trying to say. But this Aquarius is in fixed energy is what I'm trying to tell you. And they are a fixed sign. So they know how to, they're very, very good at honing in on fixed energy. And they are about to do it. If that makes sense for the people over here. I feel there's some mutable energies over here. I feel, I feel, or fixed energies that are out of whack and alignment possibly. Um, however that resonates. But um, just know they're going to be in fixed fixed energy um, if you fall in over here, okay? So it wouldn't be smart to lie. Woo we Indecision again. I think, I think there's nervous energy. I think there's scared energy. I think there's going to be gossip energy um, in this group. This wherever this Aquarius is coming and how this plugs in. Spirit messages. Patience. The temple path.
Very significant documentation is about to be seen by this Aquarius. True documentation. Know this. Okay, I heard very significant true documentation is about to be seen by this Aquarius. Know this. So um, I think this might be for the people down here. This resonates for you. I heard very significant true documentation is about to be seen by the Aquarius. Know this. So true, true, real documentation, not false, fakeified, altering, um, altering important documents, going behind the scenes and changing wheels, which is highly illegal, by the way, changing uh, altering documentation, making it try to fit the way you want it to go to uh, please yourself or please uh, somebody else and not make it fair kind of energy. Her true, real documentation is about to be seen by the Aquarius. And I think that's what's going to create the decision for the Aquarius to come in. Come in and um, question. Uh, I think about a fem energy or a situation a fem energy has participated in or something of that shape, form, or fashion. However, that resonates. Um, however, that resonates. Number 12 could be a very significant number in your life, possibly. Number 12, that could be um, a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or a child you're connected to. Um, number 12. Wow. Spirit messages you have reflected. And this Aquarius is about to see more documentation from the horse's mouth. Okay, I heard that. And the Aquarius is about to see more documentation from the horse's mouth. From the horse's mouth. So, uh, more documentation from the horse's mouth. So, so a heavy documentation energy here. Um, so, from the horse's mouth. What does that mean? Hold on. Let me Google that. I know what it means, but I don't want to be wrong on here. L let me Google the term from the horse's mouth. From the per okay, from the horse's mouth means from the person directly concerned or another authoritative, authoritative source. So uh, from the horse's mouth via Google definition search. From the person directly concerned or another authoritative source. So um, they're about to see documentation. It's going to cause them to come in, I think. And from the horse's mouth, so from the person, maybe that fem energy, they're going to see actual documentation from the fem energy. Maybe they're going to meet with this fem energy. Um, I, feel, I feel they might because they're about to connect with a bunch, 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 bunch of people. So I think it's going to include the fem energy as well. Um, and so documentation from the feminine energy or maybe something coming out under, from her mouth possibly. Um, like verbally from her mouth or something she some kind of documentation she has received in the mail important legal documentation or important um documentation period maybe it's w-2s maybe it's uh pay stubs maybe it's um uh important like uh some kind of mailed um you know, important from a important source of some shape, form, or fashion. Um, uh, I think I think taxes. I think um, I think taxes. I think um, work history. I think um, resume. I think um, some kind of important documentation. Well, resume is not really like real documentation, but I mean it is. It is if you're honest on there, but. Um, 
but it could be anything. It could be medical documentation. It could be um, medical records. It could be um, something important that is some kind of documentation, probably that resonates. Uh, but it sounds like he's about to not only question many, 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 many people, but from the horse's mouth too. So this fem energy as well, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. Um, but he's on a mission. He's on a mission. One Libra is about to be very, 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 very happy about this. And one Libra is about to be very, 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 very mad about this. Okay, I heard one Libra is about to be very, very, very happy about this. And one Libra is about to be very, very, very mad about this. So we have um, two Libra energies in here. It could be masculine or femme Libra. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, wherever you resonate in this situation, if you do, um, masculine or femme Libra. But um, one Libra is going to be very happy that this Aquarius is coming and doing all this. And one's going to be very, very upset. Um, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do leave, um, just saying, just saying, if that resonates for you. Uh, number 16 or 37 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 16 or 37. Those could be ages of somebody, of you or somebody you're connected to. 16 or 37. It could also be a possible lottery number, a jersey number, etc., etc., etc. 16 or 37. Patience. This feminine energy has been very, very, very patient. It's about to pay off in a huge way because someone's cover-up is about to be blown all to hell. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I heard this fem energy has been very, very, very patient. Um, but basically her patience is about to pay off um, because someone's cover-up is about to be blown all to hell. So uh, she's been very patient. Um, one Libra is going to be very, very happy in this situation. One's going, one's going to be very upset. So um, maybe the leap, the happy Libra has been patient for this Aquarius to come in and do this. Um, or um, maybe a thin energy connected to the uh, happy Libra. Um, it's going to make the Libra happy because the thin energy is going to get justice um, when this Aquarius comes in. Uh, I feel it can go both ways. You plug it in how it resonates. So um, I heard the fem energy has been very, very patient. And basically, um, somebody's cover-up is about to be blown out of hell. So patience upright. Third chakra, Archangel uh, Chimiel. That's solar plexus. Color's yellow. A significant pregnancy has spurred this Aquarius to do this and other, other reasons. They know it's the right path to go and they are right. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a significant pregnancy and other reasons has spurred this Aquarius to uh, basically go down this path. Um, and I heard um, this Aquarius, um, they know it's the right path, basically. So some kind of pregnancy has occurred in the universe in some shape, form, or fashion that this Aquarius is, knows about. Um, in some shape, form, or fashion that has spurred them to come and do this. I mean, in fixed energy, acquiring about this... Um, uh, fem energy and some kind of serious situation in the past. Um, but they know about this um, pregnancy. I feel some Aquariuses, they know about it and some they're about to find out about it, how that resonates. But some kind of pregnancy energy. Um, I don't feel it's the fem energy that's pregnant. Um, I feel it's some other kind of pregnancy because I heard a pregnancy. I didn't hear the fem energy was pregnant. Um, I heard a pregnancy. So I think a pregnancy not connected to the feminine energy is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. But a pregnancy has spurred this Aquarius to do this. Um, and I heard he knows he. Um, he. So why well, didn't hear he? I didn't hear he. I didn't. I'm sorry. Skirt. 
I didn't hear he. Um, for some, it can be a masculine energy, but this person knows they're on the right path. I say he, I say he. For some, I feel it could be a, a fem, um, not a fem, a masculine energy. Um, I keep saying he, but I didn't hear he. Um, the Aquarius, masculine or feminine, I should say, masculine or fem, um, they have learned about a pregnancy. They've learned about a pregnancy in some shape, form, or fashion, and it's spurring them to do this, basically, among other things. So a pregnancy and other things has spurred them to come and communicate with all these people, basically. Um, so I think with the solar plexus card, um, I think um, it's driving this Aquarius, they're using their gut instinct in this situation. They're using their gut instinct and their their head, their logical, intuitive, and logical senses up here, their air sign energy, their natural air sign energy, to do this. Because they either have learned about the pregnancy, they're about to, and among other things, and it, they know it's the right path for them to go. So taking action on this. So I feel this is for you guys down here if you're about to be a part of this, possibly. Um, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling gut instinct energy here with the solar plexus. And for you guys with the solar plexus energy, I feel you need to be honest because there are some, uh, several people, several of you guys plan a line. Of course, you have free will and you can plan a line to this Aquarius, but it would not be smart because they're going to pick up on it. So I feel this is the energy of, using your correct intuition your correct gut instinct not lying because i heard basically if you lie it's going to backfire because i feel this aquarius already knows the truth on a lot of things um and I, but i feel they're going to question you to see if you're going to tell the truth um and i'm serious about that so somebody um you know maybe that helps somebody in this situation when you about to when you're about to occur when it's about to occur for you if this resonates for you because it hasn't happened soon but it sounds like it's about to but it's um, really important that I'm getting these channelings for somebody out there. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. There's about to be huge energy shifts here, huge, and big, big, big changes in many situations. Okay, I heard there's about to be huge, huge, huge energy shifts and big changes in many situations. So you plug it in how it resonates. So huge energy shifts, meaning going towards a person, people, place, situation, or going away from a person, people, place, situation. You know, putting your energy towards something or taking it away. Some kind of energy shift energy. So that could be giving towards, taking away, um, however that resonates. Um, but huge energy shifts. So um, however that plugs in and um, huge energy shifts. And what was the other one? Um, there was another one. You'll have to go back and check it. I forgot the other one. Let me see if I hear anything else. Oh, basically information, information flow. Yeah, um, huge energy shifts and big information flow. Hopefully not lying. Because whoever this, I'm mean, telling you, it's not smart to lie to this Aquarius, whoever y'all are down here. Um, it's really not going to be smart. I think something very serious has happened um, in the past. And I'm just being for real. I think something very freaking serious has happened and somebody has really, really tried to, it sounds like somebody's, was successful in covering something up in the past, but somebody knows the truth. Somebody knows the truth. And they're about, as, for some of these situations, I feel it's a rebirth of the situation because it has been covered up. And I'm serious about that. So whoever you are down here, it's not smart to lie. And I'm just being for real. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. Okay.
Our dream team is about to be formed. Strong dream team, two fixed signs. Oh my God, wow. I heard a dream team is about to be formed, two fixed signs. So you plug it in how it resonates, dream team energy. Um, now, anybody doesn't want, know, dream team is like two people that really collaborate really well together, really work well together. Um, like peas in a pod energy in a very positive copacetic manner. Um, um, it's not romantical. It's like working, collaborating, and working together energy. Um, dream team energy. So these people, I heard they're two fixed signs. So I think one of the signs is this Aquarius. And, um, and then somebody else. Maybe they find somebody in this mix that makes a, a perfect dream team with them or it might be the femme energy that um they're inquiring about that is the dream team part of the dream team too possibly i don't know you plug it in how it resonates but whoever it is whoever the other i feel definitely is the aquarius is one for sure the other one whoever it is whether it's the femme energy or somebody in this mix it's another fixed sign and like i said fixed signs like i said earlier in the reading Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio are fixed signs for anybody who doesn't know. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. So whoever the other part of the dream team is, they could have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben, Hammer, or Jupiter. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay, you guys. Well, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, my dear. Namaste.